things operate very well now that I have my potentiometer and my reverse switch. That potentiometer is very fine. I have complete control over the whole speed range. I'm going to repaint that to the match locomotive so it's not as noticeable. Um, and I cut about half the length off of it with my hacksaw. I don't have uh, the right color paint at the moment. Everything on this train I've repainted. All the rail cars, the locomotive, are repaints and re-letters of mine. Now this rail car is a little out of error, but it's okay because it's just meant to be uh, a train to operate the camera. So these came with a new table we bought and these rubber pieces, well, four of them were on the corners of the glass. So I used, and they were rounded, so I used an X-Acto knife to square them. Then I glued them together with uh, hot glue. Now the thing is they sit in there nice and tight and the camera just squeezes down in here. Okay. The reason why I'm using this one is it's important to use sprung trucks. You want sprung trucks because otherwise the camera just goes blah. Now I'm up on the deck on the dual gauge track uh, so that I can let this train sort of stretch out, go a little faster. Um, again, everything on this train is a, a repaint of mine. Uh, with these old K-Line aluminum cars, I cut the skirts off um, so that they would be more accurate to the Canadian Pacific cars. The knob on the top is noticeable, but it will be less so when it's painted to match the locomotive. And anyway, the engine and all the rail cars are three rail toy trains. They're not fine scale anyway, so it's okay. Here comes the morning local. It is, yeah.